I guess this is the first time in the history of God's Keep that vampires are allowed to enter. Boy, do I hope I won't regret this. Damn, you look creepy. Hello? Good evening. It's cold tonight. Huh? Did you think you could trick me forever? Now you'll get what you deserve, filthy vampire bitch. Jeremy, be kind. Cut these ropes and let me go. You're a vampirist and a killer. You deserve these flames. You can't let me die here. The flames will burn. It'll hurt so much. I'm not meant to die. Please. I can't bear this. Jeremy, have mercy. Did you show mercy to the villagers that you trapped and killed one by one? No, I did not show mercy. But now I understand better. I will not harm a single villager, not a single human, ever again. I will feed on rats, snails, spiders, if this is what you wish. But please, I fear the flames. I fear what comes after them. Don't make me go through this. You're my only hope. Why, sure. You're way too sweet for these nasty flames. You have my thanks. You're one of us after all. I will let the others know that. Uh, please don't. I won't forget this. I'll escape when they're not paying attention. Vampires! Who let you in here? Calm down, old friend. We both know the harm you can do. What devilish forces made you come out of the pit again? What flows through your veins, monster? We killed you! And we were right doing so! I'm alive, and I want to become human again. This cannot end well. You must leave the town. You are not human anymore, and I cannot help you. Don't take the priest too serious, my friend. He needs to make up his mind. That is all. You should pay him a visit. He'll be standing as guard at the upper gate. Why not pay him another visit?
Fine, Jeremy. Now tell me why you are here. I'm hunting the army that stole the Blood Seal, and I need your help. My son, you know the rules. Vampires are our fiercest enemies, and now you are one of them. If only I knew that you're really still on our side, then I'd do all in my power to help you. How can I regain your trust? If you'd prove that you are still an enemy to the vampires, maybe then I would believe that you are still the man I knew, no matter what happened to you. Listen, up in the mountains, there is an old chapel. Inside, there is an ancient relic of light. It is a horrible weapon against vampires. The horde of vampires might have already found and taken it. But if you'd bring me that relic, I could believe that you are still on our side. No true vampire would ever hand such a devastating weapon out to someone of the church. If you want my trust, then go and bring me the Relic of Light. I will reward you with a ring to strengthen your human side. Sir Andre will show you the way. He should be somewhere near the marketplace. Would you like to trade? Not yet. Never seen you before, and I must say you look disturbing. Are you well, my friends? We're exhausted, but we're fine. Are you sure? You look like... Have you been bitten? Who left you into the town anyway? I'm on a mission from Rome. She's my prisoner, enslaved now. Fear not. Oh, I see. That is... good. I'm sorry. I just thought you... well, never mind. Please excuse my curiosity, but it kind of comes with the job. So, how can I be of assistance? You're a real cutie, girl. Have anything planned for tonight? Wow, you're getting straight to the point. I'm promised to the sheriff, I'm afraid. Tell us about the town. Well, what can I say? Most people fled to the cities when the moon broke and the creatures appeared. Few stayed behind, some to serve the few travelers, some to sell things to them. And now that even Sir Andre's guardsmen were slain, it's going to become very lonely up here and dangerous. We'd like something to drink. We don't. We don't? We do. It uh, will not be good for your condition, my slave master. Condition? Uh, sensitive stomach. Oh. We have to go. The friendly vampires again. Well, at least none's been bitten so far. Show us the path into the mountains. Wanna leave? Sorry that you don't see me bursting into tears. Follow me.
The door's open, now be gone, and I wouldn't be sad if I didn't ever see you again.